Hey guys, welcome to some more uh, Borderlands 2, and as I mentioned in my uh, most recent Dark Souls videos, or the video that will be on before this, um, we're going to discuss something that was brought up by my buddy Fubar Gaming when um, he was doing um, a Q&A of his own. Because ironically, we both ended up doing a QA and a at about the same time, I just happened to upload mine first. So, he asked a bunch of questions and gave me a shout out and, you know, just kind of, you know, requested that I answer the same questions, which technically I already had. So, either way, um, but there was something that he had discussed in his video that I kind of find interesting. I mean, it is just a theory. But we'll get into it because internet politics, so why not? Um, but basically, the whole thing behind this is like the theory that apparently Let's Players, such as Fubar, myself, or even a plastic bag, you know, it's about basically how we're supposedly ruining video games. Or hell, you can even put PewDiePie, Game Grumps, Markiplier, anyone else into that category. Either way, apparently. Playing video games for entertainment purposes is supposedly hurting the true enjoyment of video games. And we're here's some of the reasons that, you know, I caught on to based off my, um, just my research on it. I mean, there, there wasn't a whole lot of people or places talking about it since it's kind of more of a fresh topic being breached and also I don't think anyone... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of one of those things like, yeah, and aliens can read your mind through tinfoil or whatever. But, you know, whatever. So, apparently, the reasons that we are ruining video games, it doesn't even actually start with us. Technically, it sounds more like they're first shifting the blame on game developers themselves by saying that video games aren't what they used to be, that there's too much story involved now. And that older video games were just, you know, they were what they were, you didn't have to worry about the story, blah, 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 blah. Well, to an extent, yeah, I mean, that might be true, but then again, it's not like there weren't any storylines in video games 20 years ago or so. I mean, understandably, it didn't really, you know, storytelling didn't really start happening in video games until probably, you know, mid to late NES era. But they were definitely there for Super Nintendo and definitely for the early 90s. Like, say, Super Mario World. Um, you know, you can just run through it, play for what it is, but that doesn't mean that there's not open text dialogue. And there's also dialogue boxes that you can access during the game, which kind of explain the events of what's going on. And <clears throat> all this other stuff. Or even, for example, like, okay, outside of... Um, just console gaming. Let's go to, let's focus on PC for a minute. Like, for example, Doom. There was a storyline to it, most people just don't realize it, because back then, in order to understand the intro or what the hell was going on, like the actual plot of a game, you had this little thing inside of your game case called a manual, and there would actually be something in there besides just telling you the controls. But, there was a little thing in there called an intro, where they would tell you what was happening. Now, I'm not going to get into details about what the actual storylines were or anything like that. I mean, anyone is free to go actually research them at their own leisure, but they were there. So, really, the claims here about storylines not existing back then is, is actually kind of ignorant uh, to the very definition. It's misinformed it is just it's ridiculous because yes they were there just because not everyone saw them or people didn't choose to dig into them doesn't mean that they didn't exist so I mean you can agree with that all you want you can disagree you know it's all up to interpretation at this point now let's get into the part where they're actually starting to blame us Apparently, now that we live in this world of um, storyline video games, apparently Let's Players playing these games on their channel is just causing too many spoilers. Apparently, it's just ruining the lore and the luster 
and that we're distracting from other people actually playing the game themselves. It's all our fault. It's on us, guys. Fucking... We might as well just close down all of our fucking channels right now so that way we can save the gaming community from our arrogant ways. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just the biggest load of shit I have ever heard. Because here's the thing. People don't have to watch our videos. It's not like YouTube is just throwing our full-on videos onto random-ass people's uh, screens and saying, you have to watch this before you can enjoy the rest of the internet. I mean, sure, they do that for advertisements, but it's kind of a different story. I, I don't see how we're affecting that. Or even people that just cover highlights of games or the lore behind some games. You know, especially when, nine times out of ten, in those videos, they will say, Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about this. Warning, spoilers ahead. At that point, the viewer has two choices. Either you proceed with the video, and you risk, you know, just getting information that you don't know yet, or you close out of it. You know, it it's pretty simple. I mean, once you open our page, it's not like we have something that locks you in there. So, I mean, I just... I just feel like, you know, it's taking it on on us just because you don't like what we're doing or you don't agree with it. To me, that's just fucking retarded. It's like blaming your children's behavior for playing violent video games or watching R-rated movies when it's like, well, who is the parent? Who has more control over the media that your children watch than anyone else? I mean, just common sense, you know, just once, just to, just to see how it feels. Um, and apparently another thing about all this is... Let me catch my thoughts for a minute. I'm just, I'm actually flabbergasted and getting upset just because of the ignorance behind all this. But, you know, I just feel like, you know, people are bitching and complaining about it when there's really no reason to. I mean, again, if you don't like what we're doing, don't watch it. Just don't. And if you're going to be on the side of, well, video games have, you know, too much storyline to him, well, fuck, what does that have to do with us? What does that have to do with the Let's Players? I mean, I know I answered this in my own Q&A yesterday, but I don't care if a game is more like a movie or a book, or if there's just no real storyline to it at all. I mean, if it's a good game, if it's fun. Isn't that the point? I mean, and it's not like... And I don't agree with the theory that storylines have completely taken over gaming, I just believe that it's caught on to the attention of the majority of gamers. That this is what they want. I mean, because there are plenty of games out there that um, don't really have much of any storyline to them at all whatsoever. Like, for example, um, fucking Minecraft, for one. There is literally no fucking story behind it. And before anyone gets on their high horse and goes, well... Aren't you playing, like, the Souls games? Where's the story behind that? Okay. Before... Here's the thing about the Souls games. There is story. There is lore. It's just very convoluted to the point where you actually have to piece it together yourself. I mean... It's, it, you can look at it through either way. I mean, it. yes, it has its story. It definitely has its opening sequences that kind of explain the plot and events. But it doesn't give too much away. You know, as where you have games now that will tell you pretty much everything within an hour, and then it's just random, random plot twists throughout the rest. Sometimes. But, I mean, again, I mean, my perspective is I think that there are... I mean, it's awesome that we live in this day and age where we can put more content, more... Um, more creativity in the games. I mean, 
don't get me wrong, there are a few games I've played where it was like 98% story, a little bit of gameplay, and it was kind of dull. But, I mean, just beyond that, I mean, what else is there? I mean, just, I don't know. That, that's just kind of where I'm starting to draw blanks with it. I don't... The only way that you're going to be able to ruin video games is if... You just... Either publishers stop making them, or... If it actually gets to the point where it's literally 98% CGI movie with just a little bit of interactivity to it. But again, yo, that's only my opinion. That's only my perspective. I mean, at this day and age, who's to really say who's right or wrong? It's all up to opinion. Whatever game someone decides that they want to play, that they want to like, guess what? They're going to go ahead and do it, even if you don't agree with it. Even if you don't like it. That's just how it is. But then again, vice versa. There's going to be games that you're going to like that not everyone's going to like. Accept it. I don't really care for Minecraft or League of Legends, yet there's thousands upon millions of people out there that are loving it every fucking day. I'm not going to argue with that. I have no reason to. We're going to continue on with the actual storyline here, as far as the whole whether or not Let's Players are ruining video games. I'm just... I know I'm going to contradict myself by saying this, because yeah, it's all up to opinion, but in my opinion, it's complete bullshit, dude. We're just... The majority of us, the absolute majority of us, are doing this for sheer entertainment, not just for ourselves, but for others. And I've gotten into that topic and explained a lot more detail about that, again, in my fucking, um, in my Q&A video. But I mean, if you really think that, that content providers are to blame for whatever the hell, whether it's the downfall of video games, or whatever world issue in general. You're, you're dumb, dude. I'm sorry to say it, but you're dumb. I mean, okay, I get it to an extent that, yeah, we're giving away spoilers. We're playing a game that you haven't been able to play for yourself. Either way, I'm just going to finish up this video just by... Well, I was going to say, you know, we'll finish off through this uh, part, through this mission, but it's going to take me probably about another good 15, 20 minutes to get to this next part, so I will honestly wait till next time for us to play some more, and, you know, we'll talk about other things. Um, go ahead, leave your opinions as you choose, um, whether it's you agree with me or you don't. Again, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Especially in this case, um, I feel like there was more I wanted to put into it, but I'm, I'm so fucking tired right now, guys, I can't even lie. Either way, X and my fellow content creators out there, keep doing what you're doing, stay awesome, and be excellent to each other. I love you.